And that's, that's the question I want to ask you guys. And I'll start with Guillermo. What are things you teach your son, the certain traits that he has, he has to learn how to control? And you can't let this, if you want to be a man, you can't be this way. Well, well first of all, emotional. So a lot of times a man, uh, guys have in their mind, being emotional is like, you know, being, uh, you know, you uh, react out in a feminine way to, you know, the way women would act yeah, out. Yeah, that's yeah. not That's not the only way you can be emotional. You can be emotional by walking around with a gun and doing all of this and, you know, uh, you <laughs> and somebody says something and you're, you're trigger happy or you're, that's emotional. You yeah. know, if you're playing football and, you know, you, you made a bad play in the first quarter and you're still tripping off the bad play in the fourth quarter, that's emotional. You got to sit your ass down. Nobody wants to deal with that. <laughs> so you have to Let's understand that that's, that's, you know, you see emotion. If, if you only see emotion, like that's how, uh, you know, a woman woman's going to deal with it. You're still emotional. You just do it in a different way. And you still got to go sit your ass down. Either way it goes, you're, you're, you're being emotional. So that's, um, I forgot what the question is because th this is near and dear to my heart. I used to tell my son all the time. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you're a great athlete, but you, you messed, you messed up a long time ago, you know, like two, two downs ago, get over it. It's over. Now yeah. it's, it's a new down. They're going to sit you down. If you keep pouting about what you did, you know, two downs ago. Mm -hmm. And then, so it's a fourth quarter, dude, you're still tripping off of the first quarter. You have, you, you, you know, I don't want to sound like a coach, but it's like, um, you know, you have to get over it. And, but the first thing you have to do is recognize that you're being emotional. And like you said, you're being a bitch to stop that. <laughs> you know, if, 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 you know, if, if, if that's how I have to say it, so you can understand, you know, we, we can be as men, emotional too you just have to recognize that that is emotion that's how a lot of people end up yeah. in prison and in jail and yeah. you know uh you know or broke or you 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 sign papers and you know in an emotional way there's there's a lot of ways to be emotional that doesn't look emotional to most guys so you have to recognize yeah. that and once you recognize that you'll get a lot further in life and not thinking with your emotions and going off of you know your mind that's that's a big um you know, that, that's a big discipline. If you're able to think with your, your mind over your emotions, and yeah. I think you even say that. What do you say? Uh, facts over feelings. It's the yeah. same thing. <laughs> it, it's the same thing. So there you go with your, with wow. your facts over feelings. <laughs> so I have it. This is how we bury, we're constantly burying kids' feeling, right? So there's a distinction between there's a few ways of being. There's a, a state of, you know, state of being emotional. There's a state of, uh, in, um, so state of emotion, there's a state of uh, <clears throat> memories, mm -hmm. right? There, there's a several state of being, but if you can categorize every single one of them, mm -hmm. like being an emotion, you are not your emotion, right? Mm -hmm. Emotion is part of who you are. And this is the part that needs to be taught. Yes, you do have emotions, but you are not your emotions. Yeah. If you can teach that to every kid so they can understand that they are not the emotions, like I am not my action. Teach your kids that they are not the emotions, that they can actually take their emotion, put them in their pocket, and save them from later so they can deal with what's in front of them. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. And that goes back we're all in the world of in, in the world that you're talking about, it's in the world of performance. Yeah. In order to perform, your, your feelings has nothing to do with it. And that's not being pointed out. In the world of performance, in other words, in the world of surviving, what we have to get and understand that we all live in the world of surviving, whether in, the, in any kind of world. We're always living in the world of surviving, which is I have it, it's either empowered or pretty shitty. Mm. But if you don't teach your kids the distinction that you are not your emotions, that you can actually be okay with the right having emotions, and you can really deal with what's in front of you at that time. In that moment, you can say, you can put that away for now and then like, we'll talk about it later. But for right now is we're in the world of performance. I need you to go out and perform. Mm. See, it's how they receive it. It's how the children receive the information that's coming out of your mouth that has not be and act a certain way, mm. right? It's not like, don't be a little bitch. Mm. What they get from there is, I need to be the same way that my father is. Mm -hmm. I want to be just like my father. My father's teaching me not to be a little bitch. 
And what we've done in that moment is we're teaching him exactly what we were taught. You're teaching him what you were taught. And that goes to make it's a vicious, now becomes a vicious circle of life. And when they teach their children, it's the same thing. We have to be mindful of what we say to the next generation, because the next generation will become leaders in the future. Mm-hmm. So take the time to make sure that our kids truly know what the world of performance and what it takes to perform, and also that they get to be in tune with who they are and the feelings that they do have, because it does matter. I was taught that my feelings didn't matter. Mm. My kids, my son, my daughter, my two sons, my daughter, their thoughts and their feelings matter. But as long as I say, you are not it, you're not your feelings, you can now then go back and live life powerfully. Mm. Powerfully. See, we're the only one that has the ability to teach that to our kids. But if we have it, if we keep throwing that word out, you're a bitch, 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 bitch. What you're teaching them at the moment is that's how we I speak to the next generation. Mm. And that goes back with being the same, teaching the same BS over and over again. Mm. We want to be mindful of mm. what comes out of, of my mouth because what comes out of my mouth is power. Mm. Your true leadership comes out, it comes out in your mouth then your actions, right? But if we, eliminate, if we eliminate certain words that we're, we're saying in front of our kids, your kids will get the, only that language. Mm. If we speak empowerment words in their, in, in their life, that's all they know. So I go back to, do you want to teach what you're taught or do you want to empower them in a way that it makes a difference for who they are and who they get to be in the next 10 to 15 years and who they will become for you and me and for this, our community in the world in the next several years. You see, I have it that it's not about who we are, but who we get to empower for the next generation, in the next generation to become those leaders. And we all, our empowerment all only comes out in what word that we get to use in the moment when it matters to the next generation. And your kids and my kids are, are, are that. It's the also, um... I love what you said. He says that, like, you know, as emotions, we have to learn how to control that um, in order to be able to, uh, especially when it comes to the, the performance part, right? The, when you, if you want to perform well, you can't, you can't be emotional. So I would go back to example. Um, you know, I want to ask you is, because um, I know performance, of course, you guys know you can't be emotional when you perform. You got to be very stoic and be able to learn to, you know, be able to stay focused, all right? But I want to ask you, like, uh, to me, if you want to be a man, like you can't be emotional, right? And especially in today's modern society, you know, if we say, if we say these things, you know, the feminists will be like, oh, toxic masculinity. <laughs> or, you know, if we, if, 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 we, if we telling guys not to be emotional, right? To, to be stoic. But let me ask you, uh, Viamo, like, like uh, when you're teaching your son to be a man, like, do you tell him, hey, you know, if you want to be a man, because I do believe in biological differences between men and women. You know, women, they can be, that's why they act the way they act, because they're, they're the emotional, that's in their nature to be emotional. But for men, that's not within our nature. That's why it's so important for us to be very stoic, because, you know, that needs that presence, the, the masculine, masculine, stoic uh, presence in, in the family, to be the rock of the family, it's not only also at work, in, in life, to be ambitious. Also, to be able to control emotions, so you don't cause unnecessary conflicts with other men, right? You can't just go out there and fight every single man out there if you have conflicts. So you have to be learn how to control emotions. So, but when I ask you, Yami, like, when you're teaching your son, you tell him, hey, like, as a man, you can't be emotional. You can't be a, you don't let you control, emotion control, you can't be a bitch. Like, is that something that you tell, you, you explain to your son, or you, is, there, is, there, is there a different way you, you tell him how to be a man? Well, the, so, I mean, there was a time where I said, you know, and I, and I, this affected him a lot. I was like, that's some bitch shit. Don't, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. <laughs> and, and when, when that was, and I, and I hate that I said it because it came back to me years later. He was like, you know, I mean, he, he misinterpreted everything that I said. You know, he yes. thought I was, um, you know, attacking his, uh, you know, his boyhood because he was still a boy. And yep. I was like, uh, but I didn't understand, you know, there's a way that you need. Or, or what I was really trying to say, because I didn't know how to say it, was yep. 
you you got to control your emotions. Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't, it, he wasn't, you know, acting like, uh, you know, you know, you know, he wasn't doing like the way a girl would, or, you know, a typical girl would con um, express her emotions. Yeah. He was just being an emotional dude. Somebody said something to him and he's ready to fight. To me, okay. that's emotional. Yeah. You, you have to be able, you, you have to be able to know how to ha uh, handle yeah. that situation. And, you know, he, you know, uh, uh, you know, some of the guys are bigger than him. So he don't care. He's ready to go. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, man, you have to be, uh, you have to be, um, uh, you have to use your brain, your brain first. So if, if you, if you're ready to fight everybody, boy, you, you're going, you're going to detention. You're going to get suspended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your brain first. So to me, that's emotional. Mm -hmm. So, I, so yeah. I was like, okay, I have to teach him or at least express to him because at, at some point it's like, I'm not teaching anymore. I'm just going to express the way that I know, because I don't even know if I'm teaching because uh, like, like, like Siosi said, like, am I teaching or not? Like, I, I can only give you what I got because there's a limit to what, what I know. So mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you all that I know, because I don't want you to go off on this, on this other path, mm -hmm. but stop doing that shit. I, I wish I, I <laughs> wish I would have said, not said, don't be a bitch because that, um, you know, he misinterpreted what I said. Yep. I, what I really wanted to say was stop being emotional. And emotional okay. yeah. does not mean, um, you know, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's also the way that we end, like I said, I, I've already said it, the way that we end up in jail, the way that we end up in prison, the way that we end up losing jobs, yeah. you have to uh, control that. Use your brain and then, um, you know, plan out. If, if you have to go <laughs> back home, and this is, it's, this is a strategy. So that's why I say, you know, I don't know about the whole alpha, beta and all that. Go home and you you strategize if you have to. I'm I, people say I'm smart. I don't feel like I'm smart. I go home. I, I I squash my emotions if I can. I try to do it as much as I can. Go home and strategize. And then when I come back, I'm coming to you with a strategy. You mm -hmm. know, depending on who you are. And I know I, I realize now a lot of people don't do that. But I th I thought everybody did that because. But that's the way that yeah. I was taught. You okay. have to strategize. Then you go back to the situation and then you deal with it, but you have to stick to the, You have to stick to the plan. I thought everybody did that. <laughs> so, yeah, but that, right. that's what I got. And that's what I want to pass on to, um, you know, I, I passed it on to him and I hope that, um, you know, eventually over time I, I'll get it out to other people as well, but we, we have to use our brain. So. Yeah. What well, sounds like, uh, Will, that, you know, you had the right intention of teaching him. It's just the, the, the myth, the, the myth, the mythology of how you communicated, you know, wasn't uh, that was the way you you. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm assuming that was the way you were taught as <laughs> my own. Right. That, that's how. That, that's how. <laughs> and, was told you know? and what's the and what's brought up is like sometimes the way our parents teach us isn't always the best method. And as right. as as the next generation, we have to be able to unlearn that. Like what what Sal just said, and exactly. figure out a, a better method that we can still teach the kids how to be a man, but at the same time not not uh not pushing our relationships with the with the, with the, with the with the with your son. All right. For sure. So thanks, uh, thanks for sharing. And uh, Savage, yeah, same the uh, same question. Uh, what's your response, Savage? Who? Uh, so they brought it. They brought. They talk about the emotions. Is there anything else you want to add to that besides emotions? Well, I mean, it's kind of the opposite for me because my mom had to teach me. Um, I, I didn't grow up with my dad until later, but my, um, I was the type of kid that get very emotional, and I would cry and I would cry and I would cry to the one day my mom got tired of it. Um, <laughs> I got my ass whooped by the neighborhood bully, and I'll never forget his name, Justin Saragota. Um, and I came home crying, and my mom was just like, what the hell are you crying about now? You know, mm -hmm. she used to be supportive. She would, you know, spoil me and, and, and condone a lot of the, the business stuff I was doing. And so the one time, like, you know, I got, I got my ass whooped, and she just wouldn't let me, like, it was one of those things where I wouldn't show my emotions in front of my bully, but I would come yeah. home and internalize at home. So she gets tired of it eventually. She's like, you know what? We're going right down the street and you're going to fight him because you come and do all this talking at home. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. And takes me, knocks on the door and tells him, because you come out here, my son wants to talk to you. And, you know, it's on the spot now. There's nothing I can do. I can't back off. My mom just put me on the spot. So it's like, now you're going to fight him. And if you get your ass whooped, I'm going to whoop your ass. And if you whip his ass, I'm still going to whoop your ass. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to stop this crying shit. And, you know, it's uh, 
sometimes you got to learn lessons the hard way because even if it wasn't the father there or the mother there to, to teach, um, there is there is definitely a limit to how much emotion as a man you should be showing. Uh, Will perfectly said it, misinterpretation. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I wasn't careful and, you know, I'm in a different group of people who think, you know, oh, man, you know, this guy cries way too much, they probably would have whooped my ass too. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, there's nothing wrong with being emotional. But, I mean, it's just like, uh, as Chelsea said it too, put it in your pocket and, and, and be productive with it later. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's not productive. You get there and sit there in your emotions and you're worrying about this play and you won't move on to the next. It doesn't help anything. You're not being progressive. You're complacent, if anything. You're just sitting there dwelling in the moment. And it's like, how the hell can you help us? What is your worth if you won't help yourself get over the fact that, yes, you fucked up, but at least realize it, use it later, and, and, and get moving already. So in a lot of ways, I thank my mom for ever since that that life lesson because uh, since then, sometimes you got to, you know, if, if you're emotional on a big task and it just seems like it could be overwhelming, the, the best thing to do is not, not like, I would, how would I, uh, what would they call them po- uh, poker? Bluff it. Bluff it. Bluff, yeah, bluff, yeah. It's, it's shit, you'll get caught, but, but, you know, fuck bluff, man. Bluff, because uh, sometimes seeing too much of that could, could give the wrong idea and uh, dependability, your, dep- your, dep- your, your stock goes down. Nobody wants to uh, rely on you anymore. Mm-hmm. So, that's yeah. just as much as I have. Yeah. Thank you for, uh, for sharing that. If all the young guys out there, I mean, for me, my personal experience is uh, when you make decisions based on emotion, um, those decisions end, don't always end up well, right? Um, that's one thing I've just noticed, you know, you know, that means they're reacting to the environment in the, instead of just uh, reacting based on how you, on, on the decision-making skills. So uh, I think one of the, the best, I think one of the best quotes I've ever heard was like, uh, like, because I'll be like, I'll, I'll is like all about, you know, release the beast. So I think one of the best quotes was like, be a monster as a, as a man, like be a monster, but to learn how to control that monster. If that makes sense. So be a fucking monster, be a beast in this world, be a monster, always fucking conquer the fucking world, but learn how to control that. 